Hey, say, where'd you get that cool hat? <sighs> this is a sterile workplace. If one of your loops of fruit contaminates my motherboard, everything will be ruined, and I'll have to start over again. Look, I even put a line on the floor so people know to keep out. Hey, Ben, I forget. Which side of the line am I supposed to be on? <laughs> ah, the other side. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> I'm pretty sick. <laughs> And 100% germ-free. Yeah, and no Hank in sight. Hey, where is Hank, anyways? I quarantined him in a secure location. I think you know what I usually do in here. Practice my funny faces in the mirror. But Ben says I gotta stay here until I get better. It's okay, though. <laughs> At least I have a TV. Wait a minute. So you just stuck Hank in the bathroom? Uh -huh. But he already sneezed everywhere. How do you know his nasty sneeze germs are gone? This is how. My new GPS app, the Germ Positioning System. It locates every germ in a given area so I can destroy them. Huh. It says there's one left. What? Impossible! It can't be! Apple, I missed it! Ben, this is crazy sauce. It's just one little germ. I can't get a beat on it. Oh, dude, you're not gonna get it. It's too small. Correction, Tom. It was too small. <gasps> oh, it worked! Hi, everyone! Oh, I'm Jeremy! The Jerem! <gasps> Stop! Ooh, stay there! Oh. Hold still oh, so I can oh, no. Please don't! Ben, stop! Yeah, don't hurt him. He's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. Put it there. Ew, I'm not touching you. You're a giant infectious bacteria. Nobody touch it! Its only purpose is to make us sick. We have to kill it. But we can't kill him now. We know his name. Yeah, Jeremy. You're soft, Tom. Just don't infect anyone. And stay away from my stuff. Pretty much the same rules as Tom. Got it? Roger that, friendo. I promise none of you will end up like Hank. Oh, uh, okay, Jeremy. Now Ben needs to work, so let's get out of his way. Yeah, let's hang out and get to know each other, huh? Wow, that sounds like fun. I love to make new friends. Wait a minute. Hey, Jeremy, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, pal. You mentioned Hank, but no one else did which means you must have been in contact with him before. Yeah, so? You're the germ that got Hank sick, aren't you? Very good, Ben, very good. You figured out that a germ got someone sick. Oh, no, I certainly hope you haven't caught on to my plan to infect everyone else, <sighs> including you, Ben. You can try to warn them, but they won't believe you. I'm pure, remember? And you're a nut! Huh? Stop! Hey, guys, stop, wait stop, up! Stop, I was stop, just stop. thanking my new friend Ben for not crushing me! I don't know where I've been. I know not to where I'll zoom. The only thing that I know now is it's just me at this bathroom. da 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 Guys, we have to get rid of Jeremy. I'm serious. He wants to infect us all. That little fella? <laughs> Come on, Ben. <laughs> <gasps> Look, you have to listen to me. Whatever you do, no matter the circumstances, do not eat those sandwiches! Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I hope you guys like them. Uh. It's my grandma's special mm. recipe. But I added my own mm. personal mm. touch. <gasps> this is so good, you guys. Oh, Jeremy, mm. you're the best. Yum. 
I am so glad Ben didn't kill you before. Mm -hmm. Ah, water under the bridge! It was in the heat of the moment! Before you all knew how great I was! But we're all friends now! <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's go play the pinball machine. What? We don't have a pinball machine. We do now! Jeremy got us one! What a great group! I forgot your sandwich on purpose, Ben, but feel free to eat the leftovers! <laughs> I've got to get the others to see the truth about Jeremy before he gets all of them sick. But how? He's so smooth. Well, if he won't slip up, I'll just have to slip him up. I'm gonna frame him. I love you, Shampoo! Where have you been all my life, conditioner? Mm, 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 mm. Boy, he is silky smooth. Oh, that reminds me, I have to wash my hair. Ah! <laughs> now for the icing on the germ cake. <laughs> Guys, you've got to come see this. And look at that. Look at that! That's my favorite wall! It says germs rule! The only germ here is Jeremy. So logically, he is the culprit. That is ridiculous. Jeremy was with us all afternoon singing karaoke. There is no way it could have been him. <laughs> we don't have a karaoke machine. We do now. Jeremy bought us one. Where does he get all this money? And look at how much fun we're having. See? He was with us, Ben. So stop trying to get us not to like Jeremy. That is mega lame. Come on, let's go chill in the ball pit. <laughs> ball pit? Can't you see what he's doing? A ball pit is the most unsanitary play area known to science! Give it up, Ben. They'll never believe you. I've completely stolen your friends. And pretty soon, they'll all be sick. And then we'll see who the real Jerome is. Still you? Ta-ta, Ben! Oops. <laughs> and that makes... Uh, 6,465 lines. Or was that 4,656? Do-over. One, two... Well, my closest friends all love Jeremy. And if he's their friend, well, I guess that I'll just have to find a way to get along with him, too. That's not gonna be easy. Oh, we got one of these, no good. This is, no good. This is garbage, this is trash, this is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, an orange. Vitamin C, you later. <laughs> uh, um. Well, hello, Ben. Hey, Jeremy. Look, I tried to frame you for making that mess. It was wrong. I apologize. It was, and you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic tale of Jerem beats poison. What say we shake on it, friendo? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> are you wearing a glove? I guess you could say I'm a germaphobe. Hey! Who are you bringing the visit me? He looks strangely familiar. Guys, Ben is giving out swirlies. That's it. What, Ben? What just happened? Where's Jeremy? What did you do to him? <sighs> Relax, Tom. He's in a better place now. <gasps> you killed him? What? No! I flushed him down the toilet, which leads to the sewer. It's an ideal habitat for a germ. He'll have plenty of friends down there. No, Jeremy! Now who's gonna chew my gum for me? He was only trying to get you sick. And chew your own gum. Ben, you don't get to decide who we can be friends with and who gets flushed down the toilet. Yeah, that's right. And another thing. Gazunite. <laughs> you guys, I don't feel so good. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming three. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we let Jeremy fool us like that. We're so stupid. <laughs> I know. I have never taken an open face mystery sandwich from a talking bacteria ever again. Sorry we didn't believe.
believe you, Ben. Achoo! Don't worry about it. All that matters is that you learned your lesson. And send all the bad germs to the sewer, where they belong. Those fools! They did put me down here and get rid of me? Well, let them! I'll be back one day, and I won't be alone! This? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's the best cake mm. ever. Mm. Where did it mm. even come from? Don't overthink it. Mm. Yeah, don't question cake. Mm. Oh. Mm. Do you guys hear a whistling sound? Don't overthink it. Yeah, don't question sounds. <laughs> Who knows what day it is? Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's Hank's birthday. It's my birthday, 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 it's my birthday. Every year for his birthday, Hank asks for the same thing. He asks us to help him make his very own episode of his all-time favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And every year we say no. It's not like we like telling our friend he can't have what he wants. But there is no way that we're acting out one of his little scripts on camera, uh-uh, no. It could ruin our super professional image. <laughs> hey, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. And that means it's showtime. It is not showtime. You can't make people do things just because it's your birthday. Yeah, plus we have a ton of deadlines this week. We can't take an entire day to help you with your little skit. Well, sorry. It's just that ever since I was a little, little boy, I just always wanted to make my own episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy. <sighs> sorry, though, I... I didn't mean to take up everyone's valuable time with my stupid, dumb, lame little dream. <laughs> Even though you ate my cake. My birthday cake? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll be in it. Really? But I'll have to move some things around in my schedule, so let me just call my agent. Thanks, Angela. Ooh, you can play the grizzled old police chief. How fast can you grow a mustache? Wait, what? Well, I guess it is your birthday, and we did eat your cake. So I suppose I could play a minor character. Yes! You could play McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy is Bongo's orangutan sidekick. And you won't have many lines, because he's one of those non-talking orangutans. Actually, Hank, all orangutans are non-talking orangutans, because orangutans can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe the jokes for the blooper reel, buddy. You know, I'm actually somewhat of a thespian, so I wouldn't mind sinking my acting chops into a new project. Hooray! That just leaves. Hmm. Let me think about it. Hmm. No. I'm good. Uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Bago. It's okay, Hank. I'll play your lead. I shall be your bongo. And guess what? I'll do it better than Tom ever could. All righty, then. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing personal, Tom. It's just that some of us are, how should I say, more naturally talented at the arts than, oh, how should I say, others of us. What you're saying, Ginger? Hank, I want that part. Ooh, hoo, hoo. ha ha! It's audition time. I didn't know Tom knew ballet. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about Tom. Really? Like what? Well, uh, hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's it, actually. Just the ballet thing. Tom's kind of an open book, I guess. Whew. <sighs> All right, so what's it gonna be, Hank? Did I get the part? To Tom or not to Tom? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the garage to choose the talented actor Ginger or... Quit it, Ginger. The audition is over. Enough! It's just too hard to choose. You're both simply fantastic. Tom, I'm sorry. Sorry I had to use such a cliché misdirection before telling you that you've got the part! Yes! Sorry, Ginger, but Bongo is a hard-boiled street mm. cop who plays by his own rules. Mm -hmm. You're just a kid, so... What? I lost a part because I'm a kid? Angela's playing an old police chief! Oh, you don't think a girl can be a police chief? She doesn't even have a mustache! Thank you for understanding. But you know what I do need? An assistant. A right-hand man. Someone to help me out with all the most important parts of directing a big show. Like bringing me a coffee. <sighs> And I like a lot of milk, kid. Okay, but I'm going to spit at it. Huh? Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Bongo and McKillicuddy, take one. And action. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. I know, right? Ben totally huh? bungled that last line. No, Ben was perfect. When I asked you for coffee, I meant I wanted it today. What, are you raising the beans and then milking them yourself? I don't think Hank knows where coffee comes from. Here's your coffee, sir! Oh, that's disgusting! This coffee still tastes like coffee! I told you more milk. More milk! More milk! How about I just bring you a glass of milk? <gasps> Ginger, I know you're doing your best, but can you explain something to me? Sure. Why isn't there a stapler on the chief's desk? Have you ever seen a police chief who doesn't have a stapler on his desk? Uh, you know what? Everyone take five. Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> I didn't know Hank would be taking this so seriously. The question is, why aren't you taking it more seriously? Break's over. Let's take it from the top. And get it right this time. Amateurs, lights, camera, action! That's it! Bongo, Miguel Cuddy, in my office now! <laughs> this is the last straw. You are done in this department. Turn in your badges! <laughs> Come on, Chief, be reasonable. <laughs> Miguel Cuddy is right. Dr. Jerkface was a bad guy. Remember what he did in season one? Episode 16? <laughs> yeah, that was really messed up. He got what he deserved. You karate kicked him into a volcano, Bongo! That's not protocol! A lot of things aren't protocol. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, I, I, I'm... <laughs> you watch your language when you're talking to me, McGillicuddy. Badges. Now. <laughs> you know what, Chief? Fine. Did I karate kick a bad guy into a volcano? Yes. Did it look wicked cool? Guilty. But do I regret it? Not for a second. So you can take our badges, you can take our uniforms, you can even take our cool car with the lights on top that go whoop whoo! But there's one thing that you can never take, Chief. Our liberty! Yeah! Oh, I mean... <laughs> Add cut! Okay, that was interesting. Now, does anybody want to tell me what went wrong with that scene? Whew! I thought it was pretty good. Well, I know I nailed it. What about you, Ben? I don't know. You don't know? You mean like you don't know your lines? You said ah ooh ooh ah ee ooh ah ha ee ee. Yeah. What does the script say? <laughs> exactly! You dropped a... <clears throat> you ruined the scene! I thought we were making fan fiction! I wasn't aware we were making garbage! Thanks for ruining my birthday! Huh. Now I'm glad I ate his cake. Oh no! I made a huge mistake! This was supposed to be fun but I took things too far. 
I made it a chore. I made everyone feel bad. And that's the worst part. Wow. I learned so much from Bongo and McGillicuddy. This is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy where Bongo had to watch his favorite TV show to realize he made a mistake. Bongo took something that was supposed to be fun and turned it into a chore. And that's just what I did. Now I have to do what Bongo did. Make it right. And so, in my own small Bongo-ish way, I stand here before you, hoping to make things right. Well, lesson learned. You know, some people are TV makers, and some people are TV watchers. <laughs> Classic Tom, always with the jokes. <laughs> okay, catch you guys later. Uh, where are you going? I'm gonna get started on next year's script, but first, I'm gonna eat a piece of my birthday. Oh! oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, man, this is the most exciting game of home improvers ever. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, what? Uh, you should take your turn. Actually, you should have taken your turn 20 minutes ago. Seriously, Hank, either pick a card or drop a nail in the bucket. Huh? Yes! I get to put a roof on my gazebo. Now, do I go oxidized copper or straw? Hmm, what will I do? Will you go already? Fire! It's coming! <laughs> hey! Watch the gazebo, gazebro. <laughs> Since when do you play tennis? My parents said I have too much energy, so they signed me up for the eight and under championship. Where's my ball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, not cool. Ginger, you destroyed Tom's above ground pool. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, no. Looks like I'm out. But tell you what, I'll go play tennis with Ginger so you guys can just finish this game without any more interruptions, okay? No, uh, 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 uh. I insist. Darn it! This game cheats! Whoa, take it easy, Ginger. Ginger, do you know why I always win at everything I do? Because you cheat? Yes, because I... What? No, no. It's because I always make sure, no matter what, to take a moment to smile and enjoy myself. <laughs> it's out of here! <laughs> huh? Oh, wow. Hey, someone want to tell me what's going on here? Uh, I am helping Ginger prep for a tennis tournament. Ha! Huh. Wrong! What you're doing is called goofing around. We're just having fun. Fun? Youth tennis tournaments aren't about having fun, Tom. I learned that the hard way. Who are you looking at? Shh, flashback. What's a flashback? Shh. Tom! Tom, 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 Tom for the eight and under final, y'all! Angela! Woohoo! Versus Tatiana! <sighs> this should be all that and a bag of chips. And no matter what happens, you can't say Angela didn't have fun. Hey, everyone, guess what? I thought of a tennis song. Mwah! Over the net, yeah! into the square, over the rainbow, and into your heart. Yeah! Tennis is a game for fun. Game, set, match, Tatiana, everyone! But wait! I was still doing my song, you guys! Congratulations, Tatiana! Instead of a trophy, we got you a magical Pegasus pony! <laughs> Fly with me, Tatiana. You shall be our queen. Oh, by the way, he talks! Talking unicorn? <laughs> Tatiana grew up to become queen of the enchanted land of ponies. All because I wasn't focused on winning. Oh, come on. None of that happened. Oh, really? Then how do you explain this? Ooh. Ever 
Ever since that day I lost, not one thing has gone right for me. Oh, Ginger, aloha! Oh, Darren! You're practicing for the eight and unders? <laughs> I don't even know why you bother. Everyone knows I'm going to win. Get out of here, Darren! Oh, I'll go. I'll go back to my castle mansion that has 50 tennis courts. <laughs> Nice shot. <laughs> Ginger, you have got to beat that brat. When I... No, he doesn't. Uh, yes, Darren's obnoxious, but who cares if Ginger beats him? He's playing in an eight and under tennis tournament. All that matters is that he has fun. But no! Fun ever got anyone anywhere! Oh, yeah? Why do you think I always come up with incredible inventions? Why do you think everyone loves me? Why do you think people see me and say, Man, I wish I was that guy? Because I always have fun. F-U-N. Fun. <gasps> Ginger, I am going to coach you. It's gonna be hard, and it's gonna hurt, and you are going to wish you never picked up a tennis racket, but it will all be worth it in the end when you win. Well, I'm also going to coach you, and I'm gonna make sure Angela's issues don't stand in the way of you enjoying yourself. Mm. Does anyone care what I think? No. Nope. One, two, three, four! Oh, come on! It's been two hours! Just make your move! Hold on, Ben. Don't rush me. I'm still deciding. Should I varnish the deck or repaint the porch? What's the difference between a porch and a deck, anyway? I think a porch is the one that has... Just do something! Tom, you know what? You couldn't be more wrong, okay? Yes, I could, if I was you. Where have you guys been? Hank still hasn't taken his turn! Make him take his turn! Focus, Hank. Competition is important. You owe it to yourself to do everything possible to win. Hmm. Don't listen to her, buddy. Do whatever you want. Just smile and enjoy the playing of the game. Focus. Enjoy the game. Whatever. Just go already. Oh, so you think Hank should just waltz through the game, never trying, never caring. <laughs> and you think Hank should be so focused on winning at all costs that he can't appreciate a single second of his favorite home renovation-themed board game? <sighs> yep, and he's gonna win. Maybe he will, maybe he won't, but while he's playing, he's gonna be having a good time. You know, Ginger, what they're saying could probably apply to your tennis tournament, too. What? You! Take! Your! Turn! Just go! Hold on. This is the last move of the game. Go. The one that's gonna finally ah. end it. And that oh. move is... This, no way. Fit, no. Aha, uh, -huh. uh oh. Yet, yeah, no. I didn't take my hand off the piece. As long as you don't take your hand off it. Oh, that's it. I quit. You can't quit. Wiggity, welcome to the U Tennis Final. It's Ginger versus Darren. Aloha. Listen up, listen up, listen up. There are two things that I know for sure. Number one, eight and under tennis is cool. Number two, MC and eight and under tennis tournaments for 12 years isn't depressing at all. Ginger. Now remember, don't worry about the outcome. Just smile and have a good time. Right. What? No. Ignore him, Ginger. No mercy. Hey, Ginger, is Angela really your coach? <laughs> uh, I guess. Oh, everyone knows she lost this tournament when she was a child. If she's your coach, you might as well forfeit. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth, kid. All right, Angela's a great coach. She's sweet, she's talented, she's the single most caring person I've ever met, and she's got amazing eyes. Aww. I, 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 uh, great eye. Sight. What I'm saying is, uh, Angela only wants what's best for, uh, for Ginger here. Huh? Right? Uh. No, Tom. I've been completely selfish. I've been trying to live through Ginger, and that's not fair to him or to me. You know what, Ginger? Have fun. 
You're a loser. Your coach is a loser, and that guy who's secretly in love with your coach is a loser. What? What the what now? Oh, forget what I told you before. You gotta beat this kid. Forty love. Mm. Mm. Nice. Game set match, Darren. No. Ha, in your face, Shinjo. <laughs> I'm Darren. I'm unstoppable. I'm the best at tennis. Hey, buddy. At least you had fun. That did <laughs> not look like it was fun for Shinjo. Good game, Darren. <laughs> hey, you know what? You made it to the finals. Yeah. Seriously, that is a huge accomplishment. I mean, who cares about some stupid tennis prize? I do. Congratulations, Darren! Instead of a trophy, we got you a ticket to the International Space Station! Sweet! The International Space Station? Are you serious? International Space Station? What's so fun about that? Hey, just for you, we filled the space station with candy, fireworks, and water slides in zero gravity. <gasps> That sounds amazing! Look out, Space Station! Here comes Gary! Get packed and gauge! Okay, I've made my decision. Yes! And I'm going crowd molding for the win! <laughs> Guess we'll have to start over. What? <laughs> I have done it. I found the piece that the room was missing. Behold. Wow. Nice Feng Shui for once. I know, right? Putting a lamp next to the TV really ties everything together. Hank, we've had our differences. We have? But none of that matters now. What you've done here today, this is something really great. And I want you to know that. Fist bump. <gasps> a fist bump? I don't deserve it. Yes, you do, Hank. And no one can take that away from you. Huh? Hello. The door was closed, so I opened it without knocking and let myself in. <gasps> I present to ye the landlord. Da, 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 da. Do not do that. Whatever thou sayest, my lord. Look, landlord, there's no law against paying rent and free haircut punch cards. They're as good as money at the barber shop. Hey, do not worry. I'm not here to evict you. I'm just, uh... I'm just here to kick you out. Ah, he's just kicking us out. Wait a minute! That's a synonym! You can't hoodwink us, landlord. Listen, I need you guys out, but just for one week while I make few repairs. It turns out there's a mm, minor volcano bubbling underneath the place. Suddenly city's like, you can't let your garage sink into lava again. Again? Everything will be A-OK -okay cool, hunky-dory. Two hamburgers, chef's preference, a cheesy malt shake, and a couple of sleeping bags with a toothbrush. What about a Blue Jack Wi-Fi port? Or an orchid? Wait a minute! You aren't just trying to order lunch! You're trying to order living here! <laughs> what? Yep, we are. We're homeless. Well, technically, I have a home, but I have no place to do my work. Uh -uh, can't help you. But if you decide you want a side salad or a shepherd's pie, then I can help you. Well, wait, but I do want the shepherd's pie. And she's gone. Uh, oh. Hey, guys! Oh, wait, you look sad. Hey, guys, what's wrong? Our garage slash studio got eaten up by a volcano. Oh, no. Guys, that's such a bummer. Side hug? I'm gonna send that side hug back, Angela. It's not gonna help. Uh, actually... <laughs> As a garaged person, there's no way you can know the struggle of us, the garageless. Having to get by without walls and a ceiling and space for friends to crash for a while. Wait a minute. Those are all things I have. You guys can come stay with me. <laughs> come on. Really? Sounds good. That sounds like an optimal plan. You shall be our new landlord, Belady. Okay, that's weird. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is going to be great. I'm going to be with Angela all day and all night. Oh, wait a minute. 
I'm gonna be with Angela all day and all night? This is gonna be terrible! Uh, what if I blow it? What if the guys blow it? Hey! Place looks great. Girl, stop! And it's even nicer when you can see it. I mean, these walls? Oh, sturdy. <laughs> so anyways, uh, make yourselves at home. Feel free to watch TV or sit in a cool chair or look in any of the mirrors. We used to have a mirror back in the garage. It'll be all right, Hank. For the next week, this can be our garage. Whoa, hold on. I am sorry you had to hear that, Angela. We are not gonna treat this place like the garage. This is Angela's home, and we are just guests. Ah! Hey! And we do not touch any tiny horse statues. This thing probably has a lot of value to a collector of fine art, like Angela. Actually, that was just here when I moved in. See, it's been here since she moved in, and it's fragile. So no tossing it like a ball, or sticking it in your nose, or kicking it <laughs> to see if it breaks. Be respectful. Okay, that was weird. I'll go get your sleeping bags. Way to go, guys. You made it weird. Angela, wait up. I can help. <laughs> Tom's acting like this because he likes Angela. <laughs> ah, there's no way we're going to make it through a week of this. Let's go, everybody. It's time to dance. Let's go, everybody, and shake your pants. No, hmm. Shake your butts? Oh, that's crude. Psst. Angela! Ah! Oh, you scared me. What is it, Tom? I just wanted to say, this is going pretty well, right? I mean, we're all having fun. Sure, Tom, we're all having fun. Cool. Yep, cool. Hmm. Shake your fingers? No, that makes no sense. Oh, Angela! Ah! So I just realized I might have annoyed you by interrupting you while you were writing. It's okay, Tom. It was fine. Okay, cool. So even though I did that, this is still fun. It's not that it was fun until I asked about it, now it's not. Right? Yes, it's fine. Cool. Ugh. Good night, Tom. Okay, all right. Finally. Angela! What, Tom? Just now, when I asked if things were fun, you said things were fine. So is this just a word choice, or are you saying things aren't fun anymore? You know what, Tom? I actually am getting a little annoyed now. I know it. Ah, that's it. Everybody up! Emergency house meeting. I think I handled that pretty well. Hey, guys. I was thinking tonight we could do a... Do you like what I've done with the place? I wanted to make sure that nobody breaks any of your stuff, so I boxed it up. So now, it'll be safe. And what is that? <laughs> <laughs> ha, so that's where they went. He threatened to kick my computer! I could have escaped, but I wanted to see how this played out. Okay, Tom, it's time to put the box down and take a break. You'll have to pry this out of my... Gimme, gimme, gimme! I can fix this. I just need something to glue the pieces together. Ha, ah, of course. Muddy boots. <laughs> Let the sticky boot mud work its magic. Okay, that's it. <sighs> Emergency house meeting. Tom, this is not easy to say to someone I consider such a good friend. <sighs> but I think I speak for everyone when I say... You have to find somewhere else to stay while your garage is being fixed. Oh, great, Ben. You got us kicked out. No, Tom. Not Ben. Just you. Huh? House vote? <sighs> yes! Affirmative! Huh. Yeah. Huh. Um, pass. Yes. And I say... Yes. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. Oh, I see. Well, I guess I'll just be going then. I'm sorry I couldn't be the perfect roommate, Angela. So, I heard it might rain later today. Yep. But then again, it might not. Yep. True, true. Might not. Yep, you never know.
trailblazers over the huh, It's kind of boring here without Tom acting crazy. Well, yeah, Tom always makes something fun happen. That's what's great about having him around. Hey, you did what you had to do. Tom broke your horse. Though so that was pretty great. And he stomped mud all over the floor. Those were good times. Oh, man, I miss him. Angela, we have to get Tom back. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Ginger. Come on, huh? everybody. Yeah, let's go get Tom. What? I do my best work when I'm being interrupted by Tom. Whoop. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Tom, come out of there. It's not safe. It's fine. I'll live here for the rest of the week. It, it'll be just like that game. Freeze tag? Nah, uh, I think he means the watch out the floor is made of lava now game. Oh, right. Sorry, my mind isn't on games right now. Tom, I have something to tell you. Uh, okay, hold on. Careful. Whoa. On your left. Watch out. Oh. I know I am the worst roommate. I deserve to live above a volcano. N no, that's not it. I have to tell you that... <laughs> It was really sweet that you tried so hard to make rooming together fun. It was? I mean, it was. You really cared that I was happy. In a weird way, that kind of makes you the perfect roommate. Well, I, I guess I, I wanted to impress you because, you know, I like... <laughs> oh, hey, Lava Burp. Cover your mouth! Lava? Gross! Yeah, nasty! Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Side hug? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I told you, knock off it! And so I shall, your lordship. For now. <laughs> ah, I tell you, you can be in here till the end of the week. I'm still working on the place. Don't worry, Tom's landlord. For the rest of this week, he's staying with me. Come on, you two. Get out of there. We're coming, Ben. Here we come. That's it, Tom. One hey. more stream on your left. Okay. One more lead. Last one. Now. Ta-da. Nothing bring people together like lava. Angela, have mm -hmm. you heard the new number one hit song? I think it's called something like Dance, Dance, dance Don't dance, Stop dancing. dancing. Dance, Dance, huh? Don't You Dare Stop oh. Dancing. Angela, have mm -hmm. you heard the new number one hit song? I think it's called something like Dance, Dance, Don't Stop Dancing.